what's up guys once again and welcome back to another video so this video today will emphasize on ICT trends without further ado let's get started There is no doubt that technology constantly improves, but there are those that hold back because of ethical and legal concerns. For today, we will be focusing on 3D printing. So, dapat na tayo. 3D printing, also known as additive manufacturing, is typically referred to as the method of creating a physical solid object from a digital file commonly from a CAD model or digital CAD models. It's already been a long time since its inception to the world. In fact, it can even be traced back to the 1980s when it was commercially first used for additively manufacturing equipment and materials of its time. Since then, it stood the test of time and there are still people trying to discover what 3D printing is truly capable of. Today, it is commonly used in the manufacturing industry and thanks to the innovations and development in the 3D printing technology, materials, and equipment themselves, it has become more cost-friendly and accessible to a wider range of consumers, making it easier for companies to adapt it for general manufacturing. 3D printing allows manufacturers to consider short production funds and to create completely new components that would otherwise be feasible or practical in a traditional manufacturing environment. Manufacturers are also able to produce things quickly and more efficiently when they use 3D printing processes. Another use of 3D printing is the creation of edible products using the technology such as chocolate. Since chocolate hardens quickly at room temperature, it allows chocolatiers or candy makers to create confections with any shape, size, or form since it's the perfect material for 3D printing. Even meat is now being created using 3D printing technologies. Meat firms such as Redefine Meat from Israel and Nova Meat from Spain are already creating and producing different cuts of meat just by harnessing the power of 3D printing. With the further development of 3D printing technology, it will have more uses and sooner enough greater public adaptation. We might see more 3D food that will be printed out and available to consume for the public such as 3D printed ice cream, cookie dough, pizza, and even hamburgers themselves, not just the patties, as the technology is becoming popular for professional and for personal use. Creativity is also limitless to how one can create these food items as there's no limit to personalization and customization. Speaking of which, we could also see many more industries to adapt to 3D printing and the technology itself to transform these industries or even better. The medical industry will have tons of benefits from this, especially there will be even more organs that could be bioprinted in the future, or even amping up to the level of organ systems or the organisms themselves if that possibility hasn't been eliminated yet. And prosthetics would just go smarter and mind control this if they were like normal or actual arms and legs. In the years to come as well, we could also see the fashion industry be affected by 3D printing as more and more types of clothing will be made using the technology and will be commercially available to the public for use, hopefully in the years to come. And lastly for this video for today, we could see more 3D printed vehicles in the future if that possibility hasn't been eliminated out that can potentially transform the automotive industry. There are already vehicles that have many 3D printed components such as the one one from the supercar manufacturer Koenigsegg back in early 2014. And there are those that are mostly or if not entirely 3D printed such as the Urbi car which was created by the partnership of Core Ecologic and the company Stratasys back in 2010 and the Straight in 2014 and the LM3D Swim in 2015 by the already defunct car company 
local motors. There are many other fields that 3D printing can potentially transform. Despite facing tons of hurdles such as ethical concerns, practical concerns, legal concerns, particularly of this time and age, and funding. Particularly funding, I mean, 3D printing is still kind of costly for a mass production, which was the reason Local Motors became a defunct company. So that's all for this video, and thank you all for watching.